everyone. Welcome to Hi. Witch Finger Horror Podcast After Dark. Ooh. Ooh. This is our brand new video segment uh, where we showcase and discuss some of our favorite non horror movies, the more outlandish ones, I guess. We love movies in general. It's not just the 80s horror. The podcast is mainly 80s horror movies, right? So we decided um, after much request. Yes. That we should start a video channel um, where we sit here drunkenly after we record. After podcasts. yes, ooh, after after dark, after, after, after dark, after, after, dark. after, dark. Uh, after drinks, where we like to discuss movies that are not necessarily eighties horror that we love. So, and this is because of you guys. Yeah, the only thing that we don't listen, you guys so, ask for it. So yeah, so we thanks for the great ideas. Yeah. And for yeah. our inaugural episode, we have That's a right. movie <laughs> that. <laughs> Fanfare. We have a movie that we have talked about so many times. Many, on the podcast. many times. So if you're a fan, you've heard us talk about this and rave about it and laugh about it. Cullen Blaine's masterpiece, Robot, Cop, Terminator, I don't know. Rotor. Rotor. Robotic Officer Tactical Operations Research. Rotor. Uh, Rotor is a movie uh, directed by a man named Colin Blaine who's only done cartoons. He worked for The Rotor. Simpsons, I guess, That's in the right. first season. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like Robocop and kind of like was, Terminator. It had been described as the low budget, mm -hmm. actually, essentially the low budget, the low, <laughs> the low budget, <laughs> <laughs> the low budget, <laughs> Rotor. Low budget. Terminator Judge Dredd. So if you haven't yes, seen it and, yeah. you, and you've seen those three movies, just throw it into your imagination. Definitely then, Judge Dredd for and sure. And then imagine it directed by a cartoon director. Yeah. And you'll understand sort of where you'll understand from. kind of where this movie is. The glory. Going. You'll understand yeah. the yeah. glory of Rotor. Yeah. And um, he's not ready yet, but then he accidentally gets released. Released and. Um, he seems like his wires Dredd. are kind of crossed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little. And he wreaks <laughs> havoc, and like uh, one main sheriff badass man named Cold Iron has to stop him. And uh, basically, Rotor just like stops at nothing to um, do his duty of uh, obstructing people who break the law. And, that, and the, the law could be Dredd. like, I mean, yeah. and the law could be like, uh, you spit your gum out notes. on the sidewalk, yeah. bye, you're dead. Yeah. yeah. He's and so judge, that, jury, yeah, and the, executioner. Yeah. Yeah. That's the judge dread <laughs> aspect of it is he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't care what you've done. It's all bad. It's yeah. all bad. Yeah. It doesn't no. matter. You're racist, no gray, it's bad. You there's no gray area. Dumb, it's bad. It's like, if you have, uh, Broken the law, you deserve to be punished yeah. by death by and murder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, murder, death, kill, murder, murder death, death, kill. kill. <laughs> murder, death, kill. The main character, um, Cold Iron. Yeah, so Cold Iron is, I guess, he's like kind of like a sheriff, but also like the head of the research department, and also he's a farmer, and, and also he's also a, also a cowboy, loving and husband. He, yes, a loving yes, husband, yes, he, and he also he loves to take vitamins. And he loves to blow up trees. Dead trees. <laughs> they're only if they're dead. Only yeah, if they're like, dead. Only if they're dead. His upper lip does not move. No. When he talks. Yeah, it's really weird. And actually, like, an interesting <laughs> thing about that whole scenario is that, so his upper lip doesn't move, but all of the audio for the entire movie, you have to understand, is overdubbed with- The entire movie? Every yeah. character. Every yeah. character. Yeah, every character has an minus overdubbed one, voice. Right? We agreed minus one character is overdubbed. Yeah. Oh, because we agreed that the, the girl in question, um, the girl being chased, is right. not overdubbed. Right, no, yeah. Yeah, she's fine. the only one. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if it was like something that happened like in post, where it was like, oh, like, ooh, uh, somebody didn't know how to operate the boom mic properly, because it seemed like it might have been a little bit of a It's a mystery. Scenario. <laughs> we need to contact Cullen Blaine to yeah. get Well, we tried. I found him on Facebook. We yeah, we sent him a friend request, and he, he simply he, ignored. He just didn't. I'm okay with that. Simply ignored. I'm okay with that. I will live with that. Oh, These man. bitches are crazy. I'm ignoring them. Right? Um, and, okay, so so some of the other characters, um, who do, who else do we have? We have Shoe Boogie. 
Shoe Buggy. Who's, I guess, wow. I don't know if he's like the janitor or if he's like actually working in the lab. Okay, well, he's like the janitor. He has wonderful um, cheekbones. Who definitely like works in the lab, um, but he just basically distracts the scientist who is like a sexy 80s woman with <laughs> thick hair. And oh, she's like, that is so bogus. Like, yeah, so sh <laughs> Shoe Boogaloo Booga is, is essential to the storyline though. You wouldn't he is. So when you yes, first watch yes, it, you're like, oh, this guy's okay. not important. He is. He has like one scene and it's like a scene stealer and it's like the shit that just starts everything off to the crazy land. His, place. his okay, just crazy. Like, despite how insane this movie is, his lines are probably the most absurd in this movie. Because like I said, once you go red, you never get out of bed. And then she's like, shoot buggy, you're not an Indian. He's like, either I'm an Indian or I'm a sissy. And well, <laughs> since I'm not a sissy. And then he's like, look at these cheekbones. <laughs> now, and I'm going to say it because I only thought of it just now. He, the, the script, we're talking about corny script here and, and to do with this, like, uh, this, um, cultural generalization of this corny script. It really reminds me of Creepshow 2. Oh my yeah. God. Yes. Yes. That, yeah. that, that, that this hair is going to get me to house. Yes! <laughs> this is the exact, so if you've, if you've seen Creepshow 2 and I imagine it's, you have. Okay, basically it's the a guy, parallel. Yeah. the guy a parallel. from Creepshow yeah. 2 was, okay, the guy from Rotor was an inspiration for the guy from yes. Creep Show 2. Yes. 100%. 100%. Gotta be. 100%. Gotta be. Yes. Okay, um, so then there's There's also... a, the robot that, like, is, like, the talking fucking robot who's got, like, a fucking dryer pipe for a neck. Okay, so there's, like, a <laughs> robot that fucking works at the And he's a fucking lab. comedian! Yeah. He looks like a okay. microwave! He has he emotions, okay? He emotes, and he, like, must have some sort of, like, inside robot dick because he hits on the receptionist. He, like, asks her out on a date and he's like bleep bloop bloop what are you doing later eh. like boy but he kind of actually talks like boy, jeff goldblum because he's always like uh mm, well um well uh, uh yes uh, uh, yeah, um, 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 are you uh, gonna uh, eat that yeah uh, uh, right what <laughs> you're fucking you're out. Out. You're out. And his hat, like, they just like, oh, let's just make this guy a security guard. Let's give him a security hat. And then we're just going to place it on top of this robot fucking metal head. And, like, <laughs> let's make sure that it stays on. Who's got some duct tape? Right? Yeah. And then, like, so he walks yeah. around, rolls around or whatever, and hits on the receptionist. And he ma makes terrible fucking jokes. You, uh, you gotta finish those fries? He's, He's like, awful. I know, like, the whole movie is kind of, like, like comedy but like he's kind of like the comic relief he's like the jar jar banks of fucking yes he's oh, basically it's like really he's the jar jar banks, banks jar -Jar. slash yeah he is he's jar jar yeah. banks slash the robot made in runaway oh yeah tom he's got, like microwave head it's fun robot made slash jar jar banks is this robot right because like tom Selleck can't boil his own fucking noodles he needs like your noodles are al dante to do that <laughs> Slash Sam from today's special. Slash. Oh no, no I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Yeah. Slash the maid from the Jetsons. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Combine yeah. that shit. There's, yeah. Okay, there's like two guys that work at the research lab. That well, three that we have to mention. One is a guy that who looks exactly like Joe Lo Truglio. Yes. And and then there's another guy who I think is a jan another janitor and Cold Iron is like severely pissed off and this guy's like trying to be like whoa like I don't want to like get on your bad side but his face and his mullet he's like he's his face is back. just absurd like he's just like yeah <laughs> uh, then like uh we're introduced to a few characters like when they have a meeting at the research lab when they're introducing uh, the project rotor and then there's a guy in the meeting that looks exactly like a troll from Troll 2. Oh, like the paper mache fucking He looks head. like a fucking paper like mache. Up. He's got jowls. Yeah. Goblin <laughs> from <laughs> Troll 2 and I just like, I you guys just need to watch this. You just need to watch it to understand. Um, and then there's also the woman. She's this monster. Yeah, she's this a wrestler. Monster woman. And has like spray painted, like, like uh, <sighs> fucking silver mohawk. And um, like, like, that's the, the skunk who wants to she's fuck giant. everyone. And yeah. then, like, 
She I, must be like, like a wrestler, like a local wrestler or something. Like she's a yeah, she's like sure, a she's 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 I wouldn't fuck with and her. And what I love about her character the most is that like okay, so they hired like they were like hey, well, Cold Iron cannot defeat Rotor on his own, so we need to hire like a woman who is badass and muscular enough to defeat Rotor with cold iron. So obviously they choose this bodybuilding woman, but then they try to like pretty her up. By like putting this like hot pink like lipstick on her, um, and she's, she's she literally like intimidates. She like you don't see her for a minute, and and it's awkward because he has a wife, which we'll get into. is the weirdest situation. Yeah, she like, doesn't need to be in the guy. movie at all. No, but he's got this wife, and then they're in the same room together, him and this woman, and she does this like I said, this Sailor Moon spin, and he turns around. She changed in the same room as him, and then she's like, like this, like bam, like, she's, she's like popping these, she's she's popping these her trucks. She's, she's fucking flexing. <laughs> she's popping these shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get him. Okay, so the first time that you see Rotor, he's like an exoskeleton. So he's not, he doesn't have his like dad bod on yet. And uh, <laughs> so he's like in the research lab um, in the meeting when they're showing Cold Iron the uh, protocol for Rotor. And they're showing this like amazingly awful stop motion It's literally video. a plastic It's like fucking, one of my favorite things It's like, like probably this it's big. Like, skeleton, so it's I, like Terminator 2. Um, and it's like awful stop motion. Awful slash amazing. And he's like doing like Tai Chi. He's got like his he like, can like bend back. back karate back moves. Yeah. Back yeah. They're basically just showcasing to all of the people who I guess invested like oh, yeah. all these amazing things that like They showcase the to troll too. Yeah. yeah. He's <laughs> one of the investors. <laughs> apparently. Michael, Love. Um, and that part is like probably I think one of the best parts. Oh my god, but then, it's amazing! It's but then amazing. when they release Rotor and he's out fucking walking around, like going judging and he's, executing and all that stuff, he's like, like he's like a man. He's literally he's somebody's dad. Like, he, they, they hired, hired someone's dad. dad. He's got a mustache, and like that's cool because it's the '80s. But like he doesn't but, look. He's not bigger and Yeah, I was gonna say no. he's not exceptionally tall. He's not exceptionally big. He's not exceptionally buff. He's not exceptionally intimidating. He's he not literally looks. Whatsoever. Like he could work at a gas station or a cafeteria <laughs> or like a bookstore. Or, yeah, or a bookstore. He's got this mustache. It's kind of like, oh, he's got a mustache. He's one of the like, cops that's yeah. like, uh, It's quite interesting because he's a robot, yet, um, car horns. Are that's, his his, that's his kryptonite. Car like horns he horn, he's like, are his ah, weakness. Ah. But. I guess like his uh, one of his strengths is he can see into the past. Oh yes. So he's got this like past vision. Yeah. Through like, his I, uh, like I, I, who the fuck knows how. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, Rotor is just like he's fucking silly. It's like, the, the fight scene in the I guess it's like a restaurant or whatever, like where there's like the three dudes That's lined up. That's the best the part of the entire yeah. fucking movie is yeah. the part in the fucking diner. Um, you just need to watch this movie if you haven't seen it already. The part in the diner because he's chasing this girl. She runs into this diner for help, but Rotor like appears, and he like appears, and there's like smoke behind him, and it's like the, the fucking music behind him is so badass. <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's like these three guys that like try to fight him off and it's just like the most ridiculous thing And it's funny because he's supposed to be this like robot yet Balance is also a challenge for him. Yeah, right? He like, kicks this like, dude's ass and he tries to step on him and he's literally like uh, He can't keep uh, his balance uh, like It's like are you supposed to be superhuman? Isn't that what like robots are? Superhuman but yeah. apparently he can't balance. Well, I don't know, man. But it's great. The acting. Dad bod. It's awesome. Dad bod. Yeah. Acting. Acting. <laughs> um, acting! Also, so there's the one guy, and there's also one other character that we have to bring up. The guy with the painted on. Oh, oh God. God. Goatee. Okay, so I guess this guy is just like, he, I mean, he literally, he has like five seconds in the movie where I guess he's, he's, he's holding up the girl at, like at, at a convenience at store, the convenience or, store or whatever. But so they do a close up on this guy, and you can really tell this on the Blu ray version of Yeah, Rotor. because we have it on Blu ray yeah. and VHS. And VHS. It's very important that you have it <laughs> like on all media. Why do you all have it media. on two formats? So, 
like, he's holding her up or whatever, he's got his gun, and they show him, and, like, it's a close-up of his face, and he's got, like, a mustache. Like, a real, a real mustache. mustache. Legit furry and mustache. then they've painted, like, his goatee on underneath, as if, like, the mustache was not menacing like, enough. why? Like, why? Was... Um, okay, well, the soundtrack we want to talk about, because, uh, the score is bad ass. Oh my god! You know, like, as bad as- Okay, we love bad movies, okay? Like, I have pure joy entertainment from watching bad movies, but this soundtrack is bad ass. It I actually is. Admit, the score Every song is, awesome. is wicked. I- I hope that someone releases it on vinyl. Somebody needs to release Somebody the needs soundtrack to it on vinyl. It, well, me. there's like, okay, there's yeah, like the comment, score. Comment. Well, there's the score whenever like Rotor is on his screen. His song is like, do, 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 I got it. Do, 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 do. Yep, menacing, do, 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 do. menacing as fuck. Yes. And then there's like one part where he's like, uh, Cold Iron is on a date with his like girlfriend slash wife. Hideaway. Oh yeah, that's that song like, is amazing. We, we gotta, gotta find a hideaway. You, you want it to be a sex scene? I promise you, there's no I know. sex. Scene. But no, they're there's just uncomfortable. Involved, they're just though. uncomfortably no sitting on a fucking yeah. love seat that's not meant for two people. Yeah, it's just that that scene is a little bit too long. It's all like yeah. weird for the soundtrack. Like you guys said, like this this hideaway. There's like romantic fucking there's no sex. No, and oh. then they're just eating shrimp and then like have a giant steaks. Like remember when he slaps the fucking oh, Yeah, giant he like slaps like, the steaks. It's like the twine stones. It's like huh, That's like huh, ridiculous. Huh, meat. But it's, <laughs> it's it's still endearing. Uh, well, the reason why we love this movie, like, I personally, okay, like, we love watching bad movies, like, um, and I find that there's different kinds of bad movies, there's like a scale and different degrees, and there's ones that are like so bad that they're like absurd and ridiculous, but then there's ones that are like so bad that it's a riot, it's entertaining. Yeah. The thing about Rotor is that it's entertainment from beginning to end. Out of all the bad movies, that, and like there are so many out there that we haven't even seen yet and touched on yet, which is like one of the main reasons why we wanted to oh, start totally. these episodes, totally. is wow. because there's so many amazing bad movies out there that we cherish and love and want to share with everybody and the thing about Rotor out of all the ones that I've seen Rotor is definitely the one that is just like glorious from beginning to end it's entertainment it's funny it's not boring it doesn't lag at all yeah, like, whatsoever there is no boring parts like, whatsoever um like I personally think that it's better than like Samurai Cop, like yeah. Hard Ticket to Hawaii, like it's up there. It's totally. like, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it because I guarantee you will enjoy it. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's entirely huh. watchable. Sure it is. is. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I've watched it the least out of um, our little threesome. Yeah, and, like we um, were like, Megan, we're gonna start doing these video episodes and we were just like, you're gonna start watching, we're gonna make you watch so, some rotten shit. So, you know, I've seen, I've seen my fair share of rotten movies, but I've never seen a caliber of rotten where I didn't want to stop talking. You know, you see bad movies yeah. where you're on your phone and you're like, this is literally yeah. so bad, like I'm smoking half the time or something, you know what I mean? But like, I was talking and I wasn't talking to them about like, anything other than the movie. Every scene I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, right? like, this is like every awesome. scene you're this like, is this, 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 yes. this. Yes. Yes. So it, yes. it like, yes. it keeps, yas, 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 Like it keeps you engaged. It keeps you engaged. No, for sure. You will not be disappointed. No, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. It's so watchable. Is it like Screen Factory that have the Blu-ray that's like a duo with Rotor and Millennium? Yeah. Millennium. Yeah. No, no, no. It's a no-go. No, no. Chris Christoph. It's a no fly zone. Okay, we'll get Literally. Well, that's funny. Thank you for watching our video and we have more to come and we're very excited and uh, hope you enjoy. Anything else you'd like to add? Thanks for everything. Do 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 do